unwittingly violating the provisions of the Public Procurement Act 2007. The House of Representatives Committee on Public Procurement is set to recommend the prosecution of the Acting Director General of the Project Development Institute, PRODA, Enugu, Dr. Fabian Okonkwo, to the anti-corruption agencies. Chairman of the House Committee, Honorable Nasiru Ahmed, who revealed the position of the committee at an investigative hearing on the crisis rocking the agency, said the acting DG has flawed the procurement laws of the Nigerian Federation. Dancing in the middle of the road, there is somebody in the bush that is beating the drum. In your case, we don't know who is in the bush beating the drum. But we know that there is somebody in the bush that is beating the drum. And the Committee on Public Procurement and Parliament as a whole will make an example with you. I can assure you that every single penalty that is inside this law, that is inside this public procurement act, you will face it. Because I don't think of any, I don't think there has been any DG that has been sanctioned before. But I think they will be you will be the first one. He had accused the acting DG of cancellation of a duly approved contract awarded with a certificate of no objection by the Bureau of Public Procurement without recourse to the laws on procurement. He also accused the acting DG of lack of transparency in the procurement process and for hiding vital documents requested by the committee on the cancelled contract, including the minutes. He said that the House Committee will write to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, and the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit on the matter for possible prosecution of the act in DG. Meanwhile, the committee had rejected the position of the board chairman of the agency that he is still the substantive chairman of the board of the agency. The sacked board chairman had told lawmakers that he remains the board chairman of the agency, despite a sack letter issued to him by the acting, said to have emanated from the office of the secretary to the government of the federation. We were invited to the SGF, especially I've been given later an address as the chairman. I stepped aside from the period that I was asked because immediately I got the letter, I was to direct the suspended DG on the directive of the president because I was written. And there's usually how to convey and hand over. That was the sole reason. And before then, there was notice of board meeting that I issued. It was the new person who activated it immediately so that I can brief them and step aside. But I when you say you are, misled, you are misled by yeah, you. Okay. So that was why I stepped aside there. But now they have been going on with their activities. When I was invited to the SGF, I had to call the other board members whom I was directed to come along with, and also at the same time, to ask that the DG, since we are invited, to give briefing, so that as we are all going, we know what to present there. Why I'm saying we were uh, misled is because from what he said to us as a board, he has written uh, responses through communications in response to people complaining that Jobs have been cancelled. Who oh, the DG? That's the acting DG. So he's the one that, that is led you. That in response to them, he's so, the one who said that. So is the DG that, that in response to them, in response to that, yeah, he's the one who misinformed us. That's what I would say. He told the lawmakers that the appointment of a board chairman of Proda is prerogative of the president, and him alone can dismiss him from office. The acting DG, in his defence of the alleged breach of the provisions of the Public Procurement Act, however, told the lawmakers that he did selective binding of the contracts being investigated. Up until these issues came up, when we received the petitions, we never knew product cancelled anything. In fact, they don't have any right or power under the law to cancel an ongoing process without informing the Bureau. And if Bureau is informed, we also have, under the law, we have processes that will take us before we can cancel any procurement. 
Section 54 of the Act is very clear. We cannot, even BPP, on the face value of an allegation, cancel any procurement process, especially when the letters of award has been signed, when the contract has been consummated. It has serious legal issues, and uh, it, 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 somebody must make a determination, and that determination can only be assented to by BPP. Yes, brother can recommend cancellation, but then he can on his own, sit on his own case to cancel. So I am sure, and if brother said we did cancel, or we did accept the cancel, let them present evidence to such regard. So, as far as I'm concerned, so, we didn't advise a product to cancel any procurement. The House Committee had organized three-day investigative hearing wherein it is probing alleged procurement deception, staff victimization, and management problems at Roda. Enugu.